FutureLooks Computex 2011 coverage is brought to you by Kingston's new HyperX plug and play memory kits, NZXT's crafted gaming armor, and Gigabyte's G1 Killer Series gaming motherboards. Hi, this is Colin from Gigabyte. It's nice to see you guys again. Um, first of all, I want to talk about our new AMD motherboards that we have at Computex this year. Um, I sort of want to show off this guy right here. This is our highlight. Um, this is the new 990 series. Um, this is our UD7 motherboard. So this is our most fully um, featured motherboard for AMD's new socket. So this is, uh, supports bulldozer processor, up to eight core CPUs. Um, and this board is pretty unique because it is our UD7 and it has four-way uh, graphics. And this is the first time that we're offering support for SLI on AMD platform. So it does do four-way uh, crossfire and four-way SLI. And of course, it's got all the bells and whistles that we normally have. We've got USB 3.0. Um, and like I said, this is a discrete motherboard, so uh, no integrated graphics on this. And of course, we have our full lineup for AMD. We've got our UD7, UD5, and we've got some other models as well that will support those new CPUs when they become available. And then another uh, highlight that I want to show for AMD is their new um, unreleased boards. These are the A75 Lano boards. Um, so these are a similar concept to what a uh, Intel is doing, uh, basically having a separate uh, discrete line and a separate integrated graphics line. And now for the first time, the integrated graphics for AMD is integrated into the CPU. So as you can see, the, the socket is, is different as well. This is L2 socket. Um, we've got only the two retention clips here. Um, as you remember before, it used to have this bracing along here as well. And supposedly removing that allows for cooler performance because it allows for better airflow around the, the uh, socket area. But this board also has support for discrete graphics, so it does do crossfire. So we do, do have um, PCI Express support dual on this board. Also has uh, HDMI DVI out, um, so a lot of video support. Uh, again, this is an integrated graphics port platform. Still has USB 2, USB 3. This one has four USB 3 uh, on the back panel. So we're really excited about this board because it does offer really good uh, integrated graphics performance. Um, so we're excited to see these parts. And again, we do have a, a different range of those boards as well. We also have a micro ATX uh, for the LANO platform. This is the GAA75M uh, UD2H. And again, this still does have the PCI Express as well. And we've also included a lot of our other unique Gigabyte technologies on these. Um, we're still using all solid capacitors throughout the entire motherboard, as you can notice. Um, these boards also come equipped with a two ounce copper PCB um, that we've had on our Intel series. And it does support our, um, our 3X power. So every USB port has its own dedicated fuse and it does supply uh, up to three times more power uh, through those ports. So better device uh, capabilities, compatibility, um, also quicker charging for your devices, like our technology for on-off charge.